Thank you for joining our website this afternoon. We had a very special service in our sanctuary this morning. Uh, unfortunately, it was not recorded. So I would like to leave with you just a few devotional thoughts this afternoon from the book of Luke, chapter 24. And I'm going to begin reading at verse 13. Now on that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. He said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who do, does not know the things that have taken place there to these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning. And when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed, and broke it, and gave it to them. Their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished. From their sight. Father in heaven, we do thank you for your word this day. We would just ask that you would help us as we spend these few minutes looking at this together. We might just be drawn into a closer walk with you. Your holy name we do ask it. Amen. These disciples were going through a very dark and troubling time. Jesus, whom they were so close to, they had watched die on the cross. They saw him buried in the tomb. They had heard the words that he was going to rise from the dead, but in all honesty, that's a concept that's pretty hard for a human mind to grasp. However, Jesus was right there with them, and they failed to recognize him. While they were going along the road and talking, said one appeared to them, but they kept from recognizing him. The Bible doesn't really tell us if Jesus prevented them from recognizing him or their lack of faith prevented them from recognizing him. Either way, Jesus was there in their presence. Jesus, they explained to Jesus why they were distraught, why they were sad, everything that was wrong. And then Jesus explained to them all of the prophets, everything that had been written about him, all of the promises made by God going back to Moses up until this present day. He was going to leave them, but they encouraged him Come in and share dinner with us. Jesus went in. And just as he had at the Last Supper, he took bread and broke it and blessed it and gave it to them. Then 
their eyes were opened, and it said he vanished from their sight. They were distraught and distressed because Jesus, they thought, was not with them. But in reality, his presence was with them all the while that they were walking. And this passage sort of reminds me, as we go through some of the difficult places in our life, sometimes it feels like we're doing it all alone. How many times, however, is Jesus right there with us and we just fail? To recognize him or more likely fail to acknowledge his presence that he is able to lead us and guide us and fill us with the insight of his love and understanding no one is disputing that those disciples were going through a very difficult time but Jesus had promised that he would never leave them and he didn't Jesus has promised as well that he will never leave us nor forsake us. We may not always recognize his work among us, but rest assured he is there. He is working behind the scenes to take care of whatever needs to be dealt with, whatever situation we might have to face. Just as he met with those disciples on the road to Emmaus, so he walks with us whatever road we are on, wherever our path is taking us. All he wants us to do is follow his direction, and we will get there safely. It truly is a blessing to live our lives in the presence of not of a man who just died for our sins, but in the presence of a living Savior who is there to grant victory over sin, over death, and to fill our lives with peace. Precious Heavenly Father, as we call upon your name this day, we are grateful for the fact that you watch over us we don't always understand all the roads that we have to take, but we know that you are right there ahead of us. We know that you are right there with us to help us day by day, step by step. Let us acknowledge your presence. Let us seek your presence so that we truly may find the peace that you have to offer us. Your holy name we do ask it. Please join us again next week when we'll be back on our regular worship schedule. Have a blessed day.